Welcome to this new mini-series on models and code or how to code an architectural model in contrast to the actual practice with uh, CAT systems, building information models and so on. So we, the hypothesis of all our classes is that uh, the code plays the role of the perspective drawing of uh, Renaissance in time, for the time of today. So to stabilize that, we work on these inherited conceptions, ethnographia, autographia, and scenographia. And we move in a similar way like Alberti set it up and uh, transferred it from the Cartesian space, which is with the, with the perspective drawing, towards uh, the quantum space of today which I think is uh, with the code as an instrument to play architectonically. architectonically. So the ignography here, we characterize that as a circular line, or this is the reality in time. In strict contrast to the autography here, which is a linear circle, or the rationality of the old scale of space, which is in our case, the uh, Cartesian space and the scenography, the very <clears throat> key uh, uh, element of uh, architecture, to bring these two here in proportion. So the reality and the rationality into proportion to establish a new ratio of the new scale of space, which is a quantum space of today. So this is our principal setup. So in these proportions, it's a kind of harmonizing uh, uh, the space of today. So we will see how it works. So there is, uh, in the first chapter, we will go for this harmonic uh, modeling. And we will have some mathematical examples to explain how this works. So the interplay <clears throat> between architecture and design, as you make a strict di distinction, or in a blender with the object and the edit mode, so or the architectural uh, constitution and the production of all the parts of, it, of the architecture in the factory. These things, how this interplay works, and we will uh, give mathematical examples to, uh, to, to underline uh, our uh, special uh, perspective to the architectural model. So this will be a theoretical uh, chapter. Then we will go into the how it works. So we will have the most simple uh, computer graphics and we, can, we will see how uh, the lambda calculus or coding, especially as a lambda calculus is able uh, to uh, generate these, these, these geometric models. So we will go for an in-depth architectural example. So then we will go for a huge example. So to illustrate that computing is not afraid of scales and the kind of invariant to, to, scale, to scale. So if you know the principles, it's scalable like hell. All this will be for the for this for simplicity reasons uh, on geometrically uh, regular models. So we will uh, have one chapter on complex geometrical models, irregular geometries, how this works. Then we will go to forces and the natural models. So it will be questions of civil engineering in the same model, and we will go to robotics, getting our coded model and render it to the uh, logistics or the movements and the control of robots as a certain kind of rendering. So I think this is a good package. It will not take too long, but should give you an idea of how to code model architectural models and give you a taste that um, drawing it by hand with lines and CAD systems and filling tables and building information models 
long tables of thousands of entities, uh, crazy ontologies and so on is a kind of old fashioned body work for dummies. So if you want to go and, and go in depth, how computer graphics works <clears throat> in the same kind of thinking as this chapter, so it's kind of orthogonal to this chapter, then I can recommend our Atlas of uh, Digital Architecture just published and then chapter six, graph and graphics, and you will have an online interactive version with all the code snippets uh, working <coughs> uh, at this point here in the cloud. That's it. I hope you find it interesting and you will follow my arguments and uh, demonstrations along the chapters. See you.